everyone so today we are doing a halloween look now this look is inspired by faye uh, now faye is our character uh in young adult fiction just like vampires and werewolf but they are a lot nastier and very magically powerful um the way i imagine faye uh the way usually authors describe is something like uh having very sharp features, uh, ethereally beautiful, magical, and also uh, resemblance sometimes to nature, like leaves, woods, or sometimes with animals. Uh, so you can also interpret this look as wild fairies or elf. Uh, so let's get started. First step, I'm going to take some glue stick and I'm going to glue down my brows. So while my glue is drying down, I'm going to start with my contour and then uh, I will come back. So for this tutorial, this palette is going to be enough and uh, we will need some contour shades, uh, which is this, uh, the shade of stone that I'm going to be using for my contour. Now I'm going to make it sharp at my jawline. So after this, I'm going to take a little bit of dunes to deepen it. Now that the glue has dried down, I'm going to put some concealer on it. Now I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to press it in. I'm not going to touch it until it dries down. So we are doing this in a steps. So while the concealer on my eyebrows is drying down, I'm going to move on to something else. And once it's dried, then I'm going to come back. So this time I'm going to go and start contouring my nose. So the brush I'm using is E40 by Sigma and I'm using the same shade as stone for my nose. Now I'm using the Sigma shadow brush to blend it. So the foundation I've used is the Clio uh, Kill Cover Foundation and now I'm going to go over my concealer because it's a little bit of darker and uh, I'm going to try to match my brows to my face. I'm going to be using my foundation today to brighten up the under eye area. So I wasn't too happy with this side, uh, so I've decided to take the makeup off and I'm reapplying the glue. Uh, while uh, this side uh, turned out pretty nice, so uh, while uh, this one is a still work in progress, we are going to move on to our next step, which is eyeshadow. For my eyes, I'm using uh, the shade Timber from my Clay Play palette, and I'm using the same uh, E40 Sigma brush. Next, I'm taking MAC 239. And this time I'm using the shade Amber. So 
So I'm going for a very thin rounded eyebrows and for this I'm going to be using a Maybelline Tattoo Liner uh, and this color is Ball Brown. So I'm using this pencil to carve out the general shape that I'm going for and then I'll, I'll color it up. Next I'm taking some angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to go under the shape I have created to clean it up. So I'm going in with a very rounded anime shaped eyes and to achieve that we have to create an artificial eye shape. Uh, so I'm going to take my eyeliner brush and I'm going to draw uh, my lash line uh, a little bit lower than where it actually is. So I'm taking the shade uh, Timber and I'm going to draw a line. So I'm not closing off the inner corners, I'm widening a little bit. Next I'm taking NYX Wonder Pencil in color light and I'm going over the gap that we created and cover it in white. For my eyeliner, I'm using ColourPop Liquid Liner to draw a thin line over my eyes and also some bottom lashes. Next, using the same eyeliner pencil, I'm going to fake some bottom lashes. For my blush, I'm taking a Real Technique blush brush uh, and the color I'm using is Rara from my Tartlet blush palette. I'm going to use uh, the same blush a little bit on my nose. So for my highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca and my brush is from Real Techniques. I'm gonna place a little bit on my nose, especially here. So I'm going in with a gradient lip look and for my base color I'll be using MAC Kinda Sexy. So I'm taking some of the highlighter and putting it on my cupid's bow. And also at the bottom. So 
So we are almost done and the next step is to add some face markings and for that I'm using Essence uh, Camouflage Concealer in Dark Mocha. First off I'm going to take this concealer and I'm going to color uh, my eyebrows in brown. For my uh, markings, I don't have a particular shape in mind, but I'm using my eyeliner brush. So our last step is putting on some eyelashes and then we are done. I didn't uh, put my eyelashes on before and kept it for last because they are quite big and I wasn't sure I'd be able to draw the markings uh, after putting on the lashes. Uh, so I'm going to put it on and then we are going to have the finished look. Now to merge both of my lashes, I'm going to use a CoverGirl Lash Blast Voluminous Mascara in brown. So our face fired Halloween look is done. And if you guys like this video, please do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time with a new tutorial or a new DIY video, whoever knows. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.